Welcome to Orange Picks. Today I will show you the top 10 movies with IMDb score above 7 that you should not miss on Prime Video. You know that I don't like to include very popular movies in my list. I prefer to find more overlooked but very valuable movies for you. From adventure to romance, from thriller to fantasy, there is a movie for every taste, and when you see this list, you will want to watch it at the first opportunity. If you are ready, let's start. I'm in my chair. Yes, he's just walked in. This is unexpected. I can't believe I'm actually having lunch with... The Courier 2020 is based on the true story of Greville Wynne, a British businessman who helped the CIA infiltrate the Soviet nuclear program during the Cold War. Greville Wynne, an ordinary businessman, is assigned by Mi-6 and the CIA to gather intelligence from the Soviets to prevent the Cuban Missile Crisis from causing a greater catastrophe during the most tense times of the Cold War. In the process, Wynne develops a relationship with Russian spy Oleg Pankovsky to gain information. Maybe we're only two people, but this is how things change. In Apocalypse 2006, a peaceful tribe in the Mayan civilization is brutally attacked by warriors seeking slaves to sacrifice to their gods. Jaguar Paw hides his pregnant wife and son. Then he continues the fight. An eclipse separates his life from that of the victims. Now he must fight for survival and save his family. Mel Gibson is in stunning form in another Braveheart-like tale of heroism. The Oscar-winning director brings the legacy of the Mayans to the screen. Cloverfield 2008 is about the experiences of six friends on a night when a gigantic monster attacks New York City. The movie is presented in a style that looks like it was shot with an amateur camera and reflects the events from a first-person perspective. The movie tells the story of the monster invasion of New York in a realistic and gripping way and manages to win the appreciation of the audience with its high tension. You've never seen the streets of New York like this before. GVD 2008 is a movie in which action star Jean-Claude Van Damme plays himself. In the movie, Van Damme is dragged into a post office robbery in Belgium, the country of his birth, while struggling with tax problems, his daughter's custody case, and the decline in his career. It comes to the screens as a movie inspired by Jean-Claude Van Damme's own life and where he can make fun of himself. What's wrong with you? You're an international movie star. What are you doing? of a meeting between Danford and numbers four and five on our most wanted list. We believe that they're connected to the recent suicide bombing in Kenya. In Eye in the Sky 2015, Colonel Catherine Powell, a London-based Army intelligence commander, remotely commands a top-secret operation to break out a group of dangerous terrorists from their headquarters in Nairobi, Kenya. The mission turns from a capture to a kill operation as soon as Powell realizes that the terrorists are planning a suicide attack. The movie manages to reflect the tension of the difficult decisions to the audience and offers a high level of suspense. Decision. Ready. Right now. Three. Go! Two. Wait. One. Tell No One 2006 is about a doctor's search for the truth after receiving a clue that his wife, who was murdered eight years ago, is still alive. When two more bodies are found near where his wife's body was found, the investigation begins anew and Alexander finds himself in a thrilling chase. Hello, Maître. Ils ont retrouvé l'arme de crime chez vous, vous allez être arrêté. Pas maintenant, c'est pas possible. 
Enzo. Durante a guerra de Cardio em 1999, e devido à sua imensa bravura, ele recebeu o título de Cher Shah Leon Rei. Shersha is based on the true life story of Captain Vikram Batra, an officer of the Indian Army who bravely fought Pakistani soldiers in the 1999 Kargil War. The movie is a 2021 action drama film directed by Vishnu Varden and written by Sandeep Srivastava. It is a great movie that impressively tells the life of Captain Vikram Batra, one of the heroes of the Kargil War. She's done now. Exiled is about two assassins sent to kill Wo, a former gang member, and his encounter with two old friends who come to protect him. Considered as an example of Hong Kong cinema in the Western style, this film has received very positive reviews from critics and audiences. The action scenes, the humor, and the locations chosen make for a breathtaking movie atmosphere. Thirteen Assassins movie is about the struggle of thirteen samurai who come together to kill Matsu Dera Naritsug, a cruel and brutal lord in the late Edo period. With the mastery of the lead actors, the epic adventure of the thirteen samurai to execute Matsu Dera is impressively portrayed on the screen. The film competed for the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival and received full marks from critics, earning it a place on our list. If you are tired of searching for the best movie, why don't you put me to work for you? Let me do the work for you, and pick the best from every genre every week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's great to work for you. 15년 전, 10 명의 부녀자를 죽이고 허련이 사라져간 용의자는. Confession of Murder movie is about a book published by a man who claims to be a serial killer after the statute of limitations expires and the events created by this book. Fifteen years ago, the movie tells the story of the detective who is working to catch the serial killer and the relatives of the victims who are chasing the serial killer. It is a gripping movie with a serial killer who emerges after the passage of time and the high tension it creates. <laughs> Friends, today I introduced you the top 10 movies with IMDb score above 7 that you can watch on Prime Video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you watch it, don't forget to share your opinions in the comments. If you like it, you can like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.